Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, this is Inspire and Quiz Channel, and today we're diving into one of the most profound questions that believers and non-believers alike often ask. If God created us, then who created God? This is a deep and fascinating topic, so grab a cup of coffee, get comfortable, and let's explore this together. God as the uncaused cause. All right, let's start with a foundational concept. In many religious traditions, God is understood as the uncaused cause. What does that mean? Simply put, God is the ultimate source of everything, but nothing created God. This idea is sometimes called the first cause or prime mover. Think about it this way. Everything in the universe has a cause. But if you trace those causes back, there has to be an initial cause that wasn't caused by anything else. That initial cause, which set everything else into motion, is what we understand as God. The nature of God. Now, let's talk about the nature of God. God is often described as eternal, meaning God has no beginning and no end. This eternal nature means that God exists outside of time and space, which are part of the creation. So, when we ask, who created God? We're actually asking a question that doesn't quite fit. Creation implies a beginning within time, but God exists beyond those boundaries. Analogies to understand. Here's a helpful analogy. Think of a writer and a book. The writer creates the story, the characters, and the events within the book. However, the writer is not part of the book's world. In the same way, God creates the universe and everything in it, but exists outside that creation. Classical theism. Philosophers like Thomas Aquinas have some amazing insights on this topic. Aquinas argued that everything in the universe is contingent, meaning it depends on something else for its existence. He proposed that if you trace this chain of dependencies back, you must arrive at a necessary being, which is God. This necessary being doesn't depend on anything else to exist. Modern interpretations. Some modern theologians and philosophers suggest that asking who created God is like asking what is north of the North Pole? It's a question that misunderstands the nature of God. Just as there's nothing north of the North Pole, there's no creator of God because God is the ultimate source of everything. Religious faith. For many of us, faith is a crucial part of understanding and accepting the concept of an uncreated creator. This faith is often supported by our religious texts, personal spiritual experiences, and the teachings we receive in our faith communities. Different perspectives. It's also worth noting that different religions and philosophies have varied interpretations of God's nature. For example, in some Eastern philosophies, the idea of a personal God might be less emphasized in favor of an impersonal absolute. To wrap it all up, the question, who created God, comes from a misunderstanding of God's nature as seen in many religious traditions. God is the uncaused cause, the eternal being who exists outside of time and space, and the ultimate source of everything that exists. This belief is supported by both philosophical arguments and our faith, providing a rich framework for understanding God's unique nature. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. Leave your thoughts and questions in the comments below. I love hearing from you. Until next time, stay blessed and keep seeking truth.